Hello everyone and welcome to a hammer quick tips video. When you're using the clipping tool, you can hit the O key on your keyboard to get a readout of the measurements of the remaining sides. It does seem to skip some of them, but this can be useful if you're trying to get a certain size out of a cut. Also on the clipping tool, if you hold control, you can move the entire clipping plane. This works even at weird angles. If you want to create a new line in the clipping tool, you can hold shift and then draw a new line to erase the old one. While on the vertex tool, if you select a yellow vertex and hit control F, it will insert a new vertex. If you select a bunch of vertexes in the vertex tool and then hit alt E, it will open the scale dialog. This will let you create complex shapes very easily. To move where the object scales around, just move the little helper ball inside of your 2D views. In certain versions of Hammer under the Cordon Tool section, you can create multiple cordons to make your life much easier. You can then turn individual areas off and on like viz groups. This feature has essentially replaced user viz groups for me as it's just so much easier and you don't have to manually add things as you create them. Trying to use that new fancy train decal but can't seem to get just one sign out of the overlay? Turn off texture lock up at the top of the screen and then you can resize the overlay and it will automatically clip out the signs that you don't want. Turn texture lock back on to then scale them up. Do you have normal size fingers and can't keep reaching for the bracket keys on your keyboard? You can use Alt A and S to also increase and decrease the size of the grid. Want to maximize a viewport quickly? Click inside of a viewport to make it active and then hit Shift Z on your keyboard. Hit Shift Z again to return to the previous viewport configuration. Have a bunch of objects slightly off grid? You can hit Control B to automatically move the selected objects onto the grid. Have a few objects that you want snapped individually? When you hit Control B, it will snap them as a group. If you hit Control Shift B, it will snap them individually. No, this does not work in vertex mode. Did your 2D viewport somehow end up in no man's land? Select a brush and then hit Control E to center your 2D views on the current selected object. Did your 3D view somehow end up in no man's land? Click on an object in your 2D view and hit Control shift e to center your 3D view on the current selection. Do you have a bunch of objects stacked on top of each other, but you only want to select some of them? If you hold shift while making a selection box, you'll only select objects that are inside of it. This is as opposed to when you make a selection box it will select everything that the box touches. This is essentially border crossing mode inside of 3ds Max. Trying to easily select an object that's behind another object? Click and then hit page up or down on your keyboard to cycle through what's called the hit list. If you don't want to hit page up or page down, you can just click and hold mouse 1 to do the exact same thing. Within the face edit sheet, you can hold shift and right click to apply the active material to all faces. Have a cylinder with a million faces that you're trying to texture? Historically, you'd probably apply to one face, hold Alt, and then right click to wrap around each face automatically. Instead, you can just select a face, hold Shift, Alt, and right click to wrap the entire object from the selected face. So again, you just apply the texture to one face, select it, hold Shift, Alt, and then right click, and all your work is done for you. You can invert the selection on the face edit sheet by holding Control shift and left clicking the object. This is useful if you only need to select a few faces from many or many faces from a few. You can hit Control m to open the transform window to move, rotate, or scale objects to a precise decimal value. In the edit menu, many of you probably already know about paste special, but for some reason Valve decided to not include the hotkey. The hotkey for this is Control shift v 
And that's going to wrap up the quick tips video. Thanks for watching and check the links in the description for my Patreon and other Source Engine related things.